What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. I am starting a new show today. Super excited. I know nothing about it, but I hear a lot of hype for it. I'm a little behind, so I'm doing episodes one and two right now. For those of you guys who don't know, uh, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. So click that link in the top of the description. Enjoy that free full length. Come back here for the review when you're done. And if you like that format, want to keep it for the rest of the movies, the shows, everything, check out that Patreon. We're also live on Twitch watching this. It's always a vibe. Um, come on over and leave a follow, hang out, uh, and follow my social medias if you don't mind Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at that for Darius. I'm not going to waste any more time. Kaiju number eight crazy me saying that uh, episodes one and two let's do it all right here we go starting the first episode like i said this is one of those shows i know nothing about it i don't know what to expect i do know kaijus just in terms of human lore or just big monsters right like godzilla's and like gamora all them Ghidorah, whatever they're all kaijus right So this is just a thing. They even have a, a light or stoplights that let you know there's a kaiju. This is on some One Punch Man type shit. Imagine you're just going to work, a kaiju shows up. What the fuck? Whatever those bullets are, they can penetrate that thick hide. And these guys are fucking some doing some superhero. These guys are what the hell? These guys superheroes? All right, not afraid to show some blood and guts. I'm already in the show. I'm curious about these fucking third divisions and these kaiju hunters. No idea what's going on. So the third division got the credit. They're essentially like the scouts, you know. I'm assuming the people we just saw were like the cleanup crew. Captain Ashiro. If I was your average civilian, I would be very thankful for these people too. Assuming that's Captain Ashiro. I'm assuming this guy on the left might be our main character. Oh my god, that would be very... I love how realistic that is. You gotta break it down to just get its small pieces out of here. After all the battles are over, our battle begins. No one cheers us on. They have to, like, fillet it just to get it out of there, bro. Oh my god. Afka Hibino. Oh my god. Like I said, I really enjoy how realistic this cleanup process would be because that is insane. You don't ever see this in like One Punch Man type shit, you know? Oh. Oh, I don't want to think of that. <laughs> oh. oh god. Captain Ashiro. 27. She's my age. And she's defeating kaijus. She's defeated several hundred at my age, and I'm watching anime. Did he know her when they were younger? And I like how they have divisions and division captains, too. It gives me, like, Black Clover, Bleach vibes. I would love to meet a lot of the characters. Right? You guys both started as kids trying to get rid of the kaijus. You're a cleanup crew. She's a captain. How life goes, you know? I firmly agree with you. You are helping society immensely. So we have Ashiro and we have Kafka. Ishikawa. He's aiming to join the defense force. I respect it. <laughs> He's part of the furniture here. Don't ever call him furniture, man. That sucks. I think I recognize his voice actor. Oh, 
けるように。わかんねえっす。俺は諦めないんで。死ぬまでわかんねえっす。I respect it. He's gonna go join the defense force whether he dies or no. <laughs> I'm what you get, Kafka? Two days in a row is ass. No. I like how they do have to designate certain areas. Like, they want the bones for testing, you can dump the legs. Like, this is super realistic. What is that? Multivitamin? Yeah, at least get your daily nutrition. Well, you know, you need all that. Smelling when it comes to food is huge. <laughs> I like this background song that's playing with a little saxophone. So, based on the realisticness that it's taking them a week at the minimum to clean up this huge body, how often are kaiju attacks a thing? I'm curious. Where do they come from? Give me some lore. Hey. Very respectable. I respect that. Shout out you. You're welcome. So you still are available because you're I'm assuming he's the same age as Ashiro so he's 27 right mm. I like that observation I really do W mans W mans me too I thought he was gonna be like that kind of asshole I just want to mind my own business get my own Great save, Kafka. What the fuck is going on? Like, I was just asking, where do these fucking kaijus come from? A yoju? Is that like a smaller kaiju? Oh. Yeah, Kafka's a real one. Real ass one. I'm really enjoying the background OST of the show so far. But Kafka's a W man's. That is a fucking terrifying thing to run from. Keep on your feet. I'm enjoying these, cam these camera shots right now. Good slide. Indiana Jones type shit. Ooh. Ooh. That's a dope shot. Ooh. The glass hitting him in the cheek. Kaiju got rid of all of it. Hmm. Hmm. They lost their home, their school. She, her cat died. These kaiju attacks are real. It makes much more sense why they both wanted to be join the defense force and stop these kaiju attacks from happening. You know, I'm already kind of digging this story. I won't lie. Cut to the future, he is a sanitation worker and she's the coolest captain there is, you know? Something's gonna happen. This is not... It's gonna push my man to the limit of death. Something's gonna happen. Is he gonna get some powers? Is Ashiro gonna save him? What happened? I'm assuming he bro oh, it looks like he broke his leg. His eyes fucked up. He's gonna get eaten. I don't know. Yep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ichikawa. You are a real one. I fuck with you. What sort of defense force agent would I be? W man's he's getting motivation this is not the way his life was supposed to go 
I'm starting to get goosebumps right now. A character who's pushed to the limit like this. Not my game console, not my friend's cat. Not even the new kid at my job. I did not know they had a fucking Siberian zebra cat, tiger. What the Oh my god, she doesn't even acknowledge him. It's a fucking dope ass tiger. Oh wow. This is gonna be quite the show, huh? Reciprocated, you saved his life as well. I love that. No one ever gives you recognition like that, you know? You were damn cool today. What the fuck? What? It can speak? Oh my god, imagine you're Ichikawa and you pull the curtain and that's what you see? Do you freak out? Do you run? Do you fight him? What the fuck? <laughs> Ishikawa is still W man, so okay. The man who became a kaiju. Interesting. All right. Post credit scene. So at what point did they divvy off and she became a gangster badass? I'm so curious. She definitely has some scars from the fights she's gone through. She's, hmm, she's thinking about that, that promise. That white tiger is hers. <laughs> That's such a sick tiger. Oh. This is going to be quite the story. I was not expecting that's how the story was going to go at all. I was not expecting that's how it's going to go at all. All right, this is episode two. The Kaiju Who Defeats Kaiju is the title of this episode. Ooh, I'm excited. And he's dead. He is incredibly strong. Incredibly strong. <laughs> I'm like totally a kaiju. Yeah, buddy, you might want to like use like a finger, you know, like. Said, I'm not even sure anymore. Yeah, what the fuck? He's like, I'm right there with you, Ichiko. <laughs> this is giving me like Venom vibes, where the part of him that is the kaiju is a separate sentient entity that can do things on its own, you know? I I don't know. I think we've got a little bigger worries than that right now. <laughs> I'm not saying you don't even have a He's out of his nipples. Okay. Okay. Can't go wrong with some nipple pee. What about you, buddy? Are you going to be able to join if you help me? He has like spider senses. He can hear or detect some sort of extra senses underground. Can he detect kaijus? Oh, that's actually sick. Kaiju that defeats kaijus. That's something shadows over them. It's, oh.
double nose with a fucking double lazy eye. Oh, he did. Shout out Kafka. The kaiju who defeats kaijus. Save this little girl. <laughs> you gotta stop smiling at people, Kafka. W mans. You need to get mom to a hospital. That kaiju is not dead yet, though. Oh, you can see the imprint on its fucking chin. Oh. Oh. The kaiju who defeats kaijus. Kafka? <laughs> that was pretty fucking gangster. As it just rains blood. That's kind of a badass song. Introduction to our main character. I'm curious. I'm curious if this is going to be like Attack on Titan or after some time he can be accepted in this form and people can acknowledge he's a good kaiju like on some Eren or if he's always going to have to be a hidden humble kind of force, you know? Mr. Kaiju. Arigato. W mans, Kafka. W mans. You're already proven you can be a cool kaiju hunter, you know? And now this gets me so curious where this is going to go. Imagine how good of a tool he could be for, for good, you know? He sees the flashback and transitioning into the now. What could be the future of them working together? Stopping Kaijus. His hope, his ambitions are reignited. Come on. Oh, and he can transform. Oh, that's handy. That makes it way better. Maybe we can hide ourselves or hide our kaijuness. He's going to be so confused because there are at one point there was two kaijus. Now there's zero and one of them's dead. Hmm. Tiger's like, I don't, I don't know. I smell something. Except not the one I just met. I don't want you to kill that one. He's cool. Before she's saying this, there was not even a concept of a good kaiju. This is going to be kind of game changing. Mm. Drawing based on witness. <laughs> That's a pretty fair drawing. Number eight. The ones that they've given a name to kaiju number eight. Okay, okay. I'm getting it now. I'm getting it. Okay, Ichikawa passed the first round. I'm hoping by his surprise it's a good sign that he passed as well. Shout out the sanitation crew, man. They don't get the respect they deserve. You guys do some great work out there. <laughs> I'm saying, buddy. <laughs> buddy, you look like what's his name from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Hey, Kyan, thank you so much for that sub. I appreciate you. Have a, have a good day at work. It's usually the second round where he fails. First round. I see. Yep, you cannot expose any part of you. I like it, though. He doesn't care. I did not think I would like Ichikawa as much as I do, but he is a W-man's.
<laughs> I can't stand Kafka. Genuinely can't stand him. Ten days later. I thought the episode was going to end there. I won't lie. Ooh. New side character we're going to meet. Another new side character. Another one. I'm interested. She wealthy. She has a chauffeur and a very nice looking car back there. <laughs> Wait, me? Don't don't tell that to me. I'm getting I'm getting there, man. What do you mean? There's plenty of spaces. Interesting. What does she have like an exoskeleton on? I love the way they're animating this. Um, ma'am? Ma'am? With one hand, too. Not even both. Is that just purely from the funds? That Okay, you could have at least just sat it down. 2016. Shinomiya. Okay. Don't end the episode there. Don't end the episode there. God damn. I'm actually... I'm actually liking this. So, what did I think was going to happen in Kaiju number 8? I did not think our main character would be Kaiju number 8. Uh... Such an interesting concept. I need to know lore. This could be one of those shows where it's just one of those you have to accept the fact that there are monsters, there are kaijus. We're never going to know where they come from. They just come, you know, like some one punch man level lore. Or is it going to be like AOT where we actually do learn the truth of where these come from? Can we stop them? Because like I said, I know kaijus are just a term for a big monster. Like I'm pretty sure Godzilla counts as a kaiju. I'm not sure. I've only ever seen Godzilla minus one. It's the only Godzilla film I've ever seen. So I don't know if in the, those movies they go into the lore, like where they come from, how they were made, born, this, that, and the third. Um, but I don't know if we're ever going to get that answer in here. But in terms of just the concept, the animation, the I won't lie, this is way funnier of a show than I thought it would be. The voice actors are killing it. I'm really liking Ichikawa's relationship with Kafka. I like the concept that they're like the sanitation people and cleaning up the bodies of like it's such a cool thought that i would have never thought of you know um overall though i can see why people are hyping this the hell up animation's killing it we're gonna go to an exam where we meet a lot of side characters i'm super excited i'm curious if ashiro is gonna be cool with us or if we're gonna have to hide our kaiju-ness the whole time godzilla is considered a kaiju yeah i'm super curious i'm super curious overall w episodes though I need to catch up on the other seasonal shows that I'm doing, so hopefully I can continue my streams. If you guys want the full uncut versions of the rest of the shows I'm watching, early access, all that, check out the Patreon down below. Come on over to the Twitch where we watch these live. It's always a vibe. I appreciate y'all. Check out the social medias. Don't forget to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. I'll catch you next time, Dapper Squad. Peace out.